The crypto market has been absolutely booming recently. You guys can see right here, AVAX is currently up 11.9%. And if we have a look right here, this chart, AVAX is about to make a historical breakout right here on the monthly time frame. AVAX has been on a downtrend since 2021. And the big question is, will this finally break out? Now, if we have a look at Ethereum, Ethereum is playing a big part of this. If you guys remember the Bitcoin chart right here and the Solana chart right here, we know what happened when it broke out uh, out of this exact same pattern right here, right? It absolutely went parabolic. And guess what happened? Pretty much memes on Solana exploded. And it's the same thing for Ethereum. If Ethereum manages to break out out of here, you could expect a massive pump from AVAX outside of here straight to $150. Yes, straight to $150. We're going to get back to AVAX in just a second on the technical analysis. But let's have a look right here at the crypto bubble. Everything is pretty much pumping right here on the daily. The weekly is even better. And the monthly is, uh, is I mean, it's just bright green. Things are looking fantastic. AVAX up 85% on the monthly. Obviously, a tiny bubble compared to XLM, ADA, SAND, Pepe and all these other crypto. So obviously it's still very early for you to get an AVAX despite being up 11% today. Yes, despite being a daily gainer today, it's actually still very early for you to get in. And you can see right here, AVAX is sitting at a $20 billion mark cap. I think that's very, very low in my opinion. $1.7 billion traded volume. That's pretty good. Circling supply is pretty decent. If we have a look right here at the all time high in terms of market cap, which was in 2001, it was 30 billion tokens. If we have a look at the price, the price was approximately 150, um, you know, $150. So it's pretty decent in my opinion. Inflation is not as bad as other cryptocurrencies. So you're going to have like other cryptocurrencies with crazy, crazy inflation. So this is not bad. By the way, if you guys do want to win, you know, one Bitcoin, one Ethereum, 10,000 USDT, you could go ahead and spin the wheel. The link will be in the description below. Let's have a look just quick, just for fun. Let's do one spin. You get three spins, three spins a day. You guys can see I just want 20 cents, nothing too crazy. But obviously you guys do get three spins and it does reset every 30 seconds and pretty much three spins a day. If you guys do want to essentially sign up with BTC, not only can you get a $10,000 bonus if you trade and deposit, but you could also have a chance to win some big prizes. Anyways, going back right here in to AVAX on the monthly time frame. So this is a pretty, pretty big breakout right here. Now, of course, the breakout could be pretty darn big. I mean, if we have a look at this, uh, you know, horizontal or pennant right here, you guys can see that it does give us a target of $323. Now, that's actually not so bad, in my opinion. $323 is approximately 6x from here. I do think that AVAX could reach a $100 billion mark cap, in my opinion, in the upcoming bull market or bull cycle in 2025. I think it's very, very doable and pretty much that's about it i mean we know right now solana is most likely going to reach you know 200 300 billion dollars in my opinion this upcoming bull market so i wouldn't be surprised if avax does a quick 6x from here now i do think that avax once we do break out of here we're going straight to 130 150 dollars in my opinion we do need to see a closure right here on the monthly time frame above it we're most likely gonna get, gonna get it it's only a matter of time it's a matter of when, not if, because we are in a super cycle bull market right now. If we have a look right here at the daily time frame, obviously AVAX is looking better than ever, guys. Let's take out the stochastic RSI just to give you guys an understanding of where we are real quick. So these are the stochastic RSI on AVAX. So looking, I'm not, they're, they're not over overbought at all, by the way. They're not overbought, but we're not oversold as well. But you can see right here, we still have some room to go. We have some room to go right here. In my opinion, we have some time in, until it becomes pretty much uh, overbought and pretty much that's it but we know historically guys when we are overbought right here we usually have these small pullbacks right here so don't expect a major major pullback on AVAX you could expect you know a few percent maybe a five to ten percent pullback on AVAX the same thing we saw right here and of course if I do take out the exponential moving average it's probably one of my favorite indicators ever uh, you guys can see right here that every time we are above the EMA ribbons we're pretty much mega mega bullish when we are below it uh we're pretty pretty shaky and you guys can see right here not only my my rule of thumb by the way for for uh, being bullish on the ema ribbon you need to have three closure three green uh closure on the week on the daily time frame and this is exactly what is happening right now on avax if we have a look at the weekly time frame also very very bullish uh we know right here uh when we are above it we're very very bullish when we are below it we're bearish 
or back above it or bull, uh, bullish and look at this guys this was the beginning of the last bear market uh, that's when it started we became essentially very very bearish and these ema ribbons pretty much act as a uh, resistance and when we are above these ema ribbons they pretty much act as a form of support and you guys can see right here if i actually zoom in we could see that the 20 ema ribbon is actually flipping to the upside which is actually very very bullish so you could expect a huge 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 surge in price in avax very very soon of course if we have some high volume happening as well then you could expect some massive massive uh, and price action so avax is looking good overall we're gonna have to see what happens to ethereum at the end guys but you know ethereum is king ethereum is the leader uh to all these altcoins such as arbitrum optimism avax and so on if ethereum does have a breakout you could expect these three cryptos to really make a big moves you know ex pretty much make all-time highs and blow past all-time highs because we know the adoption in crypto right now is only going to get bigger it's only going to get stronger and uh, in my opinion the market cap is only going to get bigger so look at that we already broke by the way so this is not really related to avax but it's related to the whole market we already broke the all-time high in the previous uh bull cycle right the all-time high in the previous bull cycle was sitting at about three trillion dollars and right now we're already sitting at three and a half trillion dollars now of course most of that is bitcoin bitcoin are now sitting at sub two trillion dollars right now 1.95 trillion dollars obviously you know most of that is bitcoin and ethereum of course but um you know i mean you're gonna you, you could expect a lot of retail investors to pretty much come in and just flow their money into you know avax arbitrum optimism all these ethereum coins right here build under it it's going to be very very interesting i'm excited this is going to be a very very exciting altcoin season we need to see the bitcoin dominance continue to drop continue to drop this is what we need to see in order for us to see an altcoin season so i would like to see the bitcoin dominance to pretty much break this massive 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 trend line right here on the weekly time frame if we do end up doing that we're most likely going to enter a massive uh, altcoin season we're not yet at an altcoin season i know a lot of people are saying oh um this is an altcoin season because you know uh, altcoins are pumping but we're actually not so if we have a look right here at the altcoin season index you guys can see that we're only sitting at 45 in order for us to be in an altcoin season we need to be at 75 so we're most likely going to be in an altcoin season once we reach 60 65 something like that but in my opinion we're still not an altcoin season and for those of you guys who don't know what an altcoin season is if 75 of the top 50 perform better than bitcoin over the last 90 days it's officially an altcoin season so obviously it has to be the top 50 crypto currencies we're not right now counting meme coins shit coins you know coins that are below obviously like um in the in, in below uh, 400 or whatnot or even in the top 200 because obviously uh they're low market cap and we know what happens when they're low market cap you could have any coin really exploding uh you know a thousand x two thousand x literally overnight so that is my video guys on avax keep an eye on avax the monthly time frame is very very interesting and shit is about to get wild for layer twos if you guys do like this video don't forget to smash the subscribe button leave a like and i will see you guys in my next video tomorrow